Beyond Meat grilling up some major gains today as a plant-based meat company goes beyond the grocery store. Let's get to Aditi Roy with all the details. Hey, Aditi. Hey, Melissa, beyond the grocery store and online, Beyond Meat shares are still in the green after hours. Upon ending the regular session, up nearly 5.5%. This after the company announced its new e-commerce platform. That new platform allows customers to buy Beyond Meat products directly from the company's website and also access some online-only specials. The direct-to-consumer rollout allows Beyond to really tap into the skyrocketing demand for fresh meat alternatives in retail. Nielsen says that channel is up 140 percent since March. With the pandemic shutting down so many restaurants, Beyond's really made a big push into retail, launching value packs this summer to better compete against traditional meat companies for those price-sensitive customers. But its competition is doing the same thing. Thing. Kellogg's just announced today that it's launching plant-based ground meat through its new Incognito line. That'll be available at Walmart, among other supermarkets. The company's also rolling out meatless sausage, bratwurst, and chicken nuggets, and launching an aggressive marketing campaign to win over meat lovers. And let's not forget Impossible Foods, which just raised $200 million recently, six months after its last round. It rolled out its direct-to-consumer site, earlier this summer. Melissa, back to you. Thank you very much, Aditi Roy. Um, for alt meat lovers, this is paradise, Guy Adami, in terms of the array of choices. And you got to think with more <laughs> competition out there um, th that there could be some price pressure here, which could be good for the consumer. Now, if they were smart, they'd launch the skip to my Lou line if you get my drift. You know what I'm saying, Mel? And th <laughs> the competition is there. But remember when you came back in the spring, this was an $85 stock we were talking about, and I told you all the nasty things it did to my constitution, et cetera. But I said, I think the stock's going to test that high we saw in January, which is 132. It actually went to 160. Now it's held this 130 level for a while, and I think this is the next leg higher. I mean, it gives me no joy to say it because, again, uh, I have some history there, but I do think the stock is a buy at these levels. I mean, if Nike, if Nike can have an on-fire direct-to-consumer platform and model, why couldn't Beyond Meat? I mean, its products have very much been in demand, Karen. Yeah, it could. I mean, you know, they do have the three the other channels, you know, retail, restaurants, and food mm -hmm. service. And restaurants and food service are a little bit challenged right now. But this makes perfect sense. Um, so I, I think it'll be really successful. For me, though, a lot of success is priced into this stock already. And you brought up competitors, you know, it's only going to get more competitive, although I'm, I'm a absolutely a believer in, in the secular change to plant-based food. But at 130, it's just a little too rich for my blood.